Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, welcome to this short presentation on LDAP configuration for test systems in Web GUI 8.1. The environment used was Red Hat 7 with Apache Directory Studio and Web GUI 8.1. Apache Directory Studio installs on Linux or Windows, but in this example Linux was used. The default settings were used apart from the LDAP service port, which was increased to 10.389 to prevent port conflicts and allow the process to run as non-root. Web GUI was installed using object server authentication, which needed to be removed before applying the LDAP configuration settings. This was performed using the WebSphere Administration Console. The WebSphere Administration Console is used to add the LDAP repository via the Global Security tab. The Apache DS LDAP server is a custom LDAP repository. Use a unique repository identifier like LDAP1. Use the Apache DS LDAP username and password. The default password is secret. The LDAP form looks like this with the LDAP name, host and port added here and the user and password added here. Once applied the new repository is added to the list of repositories. Restart the web GUI server to enforce the new configuration. Check that you can log in as SM admin. Now the LDAP1 repository is applied the WebSphere application server console can be used to define the supported entity types using the Federated Repositories tab. In this presentation two examples are provided a flat repository and a custom structured repository with users and groups separated. The supported entity types is on the Federated Repositories tab. For the flat LDAP user group definition set the base entry to be the default LDAP domain. By default, they use the file-based realm, as are user groups. With this configuration, users are added to the domain directly. To structure the LDAP definition, create an organizational unit using the Apache DS GUI. In this example, network management has the users and groups added into the default domain. Add the created user and group definitions to the supported entity types. When a user or group is added now, they are added to the subtree in the network management domain. For example, the web GUI user 1 is shown in the users tree, which is in the network management domain within the example.com default domain. Remember to allow web GUI to authenticate when the LDAP server is down. Otherwise, Web GUI will be difficult to manage if the Apache DS server is unavailable. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.